Hi everybody and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll see more great videos like this. So today I've come away from the house build for just for, just for today. Um, so we've had a couple of questions about the, um, the glowing effect or the emission um, material that I've been using on the keyboard to get the glow effect. Um, so what I'm just gonna do is just do a quick um, not quick, um, but a tutorial if you like of how to get the the glow effect to work um, We'll look at it both in the cycles render and the um, EV render as well. I'll show you how to do it in there as well um, so all I'm gonna do right so This is just for the tutorial. We're not gonna build anything um, Amazing it's just purely for this. That's all. That's all it is. Okay. So we created a cube. Um, and we're just going to inset and then extrude in. So we've got a bit of a thing going on there. Okay. Um, now what I'm going to do is just loop cut. Whoop! I don't want to do that. Um, what I'm going to do is loop cut. Um, so we do say four cuts there and four there okay um, what I'm going to do now is assign material we're just going to create a new material um, so this will give like the everything um, let's see where we are this will just give us um, an overall material okay so let's yeah let's just do that and okay so we've got our material here so we're in um i think it's ev ev render what i'm just going to do is come out of there and just go into a normal normal view shaded view i think it is yeah okay um so right so i've Done a few loop cuts. I'm going to select faces. I'm going to press number three to select faces. I'm just going to select random squares. Um, create a new material. I'm going to change right the surface. We're going to change principled BSDF to emission because that's where our light is coming from. Okay, so we're just going to change that to red, and we're just going to assign it. So it's all changed. We're going to up our strength. I normally like to work at around five. I mean, you can see already there's starting to be a bit of a bit of a glow thing going on. Um, let me just switch that off. Okay, so we've got our red ones in. Uh, I'm just going to select a few more, um, and we're going to be we're going to create another new material. Um, change it to a mission and we'll go with a green color again change the strength to five you can change it to whatever you want to how to however you sort of see fit the strength um, and then just assign it to those um, faces okay and then we're just gonna select a few more new material you can see where I'm going with this it's just like a it's going to be like a little dance floor if you like um what colors haven't we done we haven't done yellow um strength five obviously the higher the strength um the more it will glow and reflect off of the sides there okay so we'll just assign those um and these will just do a new one and give it um emission Change the color to blue. Strength is five. And a sign. And then these last ones. I mean, you don't have to do all this. You can just do one color or whatever it is you're trying to do with the, the glow effect. Um, and we're gonna go with pink, I think. Lovely pink. And 
strength five and a sign right so there we go we've got a nice little dance floor going on there having a little boogie as you do um so what we're going to do is we're going to go into our uh, render tab um the render engine i'm going to change to cycles because this is um cycles is pretty straightforward for the glow um and then if we click on the uh rendered display for you'll see um yeah you will see nothing <laughs> um there we go so you can see all around here you know you've got all the different colors um it's basically emissions is basically a light i sometimes use it and on a plane to light a scene because it gives nice soft um shadows um so you can see there you know you can put like um an object in there um yeah i mean in cycles it's pretty straightforward so you know you can see all the glow let's do a shift come out of edit mode shift a and we'll just create a not that we'll shift a and then we'll create a uv sphere we'll just scale it down a bit and just chuck it in there and then you can see you can see obviously there's a lot going on in there um so that's why it's taken a little while to render um but i just wanted to really show you um like the light how it works in cycles render Okay, I mean, you could, let's just change it to, let's just get rid of those. I mean, you can see there, you know how, how good it is. Um, all I'm gonna do is just select, let's just select them all. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna give it like a white. Let's not fast about, eh? Um, we'll just give it a new, change it to emission. Keep it as white and just put five, because that's how I roll. Um, I would change it. Oh, we need to assign it, don't we? Ugh. So we need to assign it to the faces. Are we going to get them all? Yes, we are. So we just select them all and assign the emission. Whoa, that's well bright. You can see there how bright, and that's just like on five. So you can just change it down to say three or two. I'll just change this down. So you can see that it works on the in cycles render that's pretty much how you do it now ev this is a different kettle of fish um there's only i mean there's only a couple more um sort of steps really so we're going to change it to ev and as you can see it's not really sort of making much difference in in the um render um as you can see there, there's not really that much difference. So what we need to do is we need to do a shift A to select a new item. And then we're gonna go down to light probe. Okay, and then what we need to select is irradiance, 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 duh, irradiance volume. And as you can see here, it'll bring up a box. And what we need to do is make this box the inside box as you can see there's like two there's the outside and then the inside and then the inside has got all those little dots okay so we just scale it up so our box fits inside okay and then right so we're in um eevee at the moment and as you can see there is not much going on here there's no glow effect or anything so what we need to do now is bake indirect lighting, which is in your render, render settings. Okay, you know where you change the render engine, just come down near the bottom. 
um, and it's in it's in the, the menu indirect lighting okay and then click on bake indirect lighting and you can see there it's working its magic and now you've got a nice little glow about it um, and that's how my, how you do it in, in Eevee um, and you can also um, click on bloom and it will give you a nice little only. every time you do it you make a change um, you need to click on this so if I was to like move this object here out of the way you will if I, of course it's going to prove me wrong so if I was to move that over here so to create a shadow on the on the back there okay now if we was to move this out of the way because it's baked the light you can see the shadow where the ball was. So every time you move something, you will need to bake indirect lighting and it will do all its calculations. Um, and you can just sort of like mess about uh, with all this malarkey. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it really. Um, you can mess about with the all the information down here um, yeah if I say every time you change something you will need to click on bake indirect lighting um, so there we go that's um, that's all there is to it really um, hopefully this has helped this has helped you out um, so it is relatively straightforward um, yeah so thanks for watching um hopefully it's given you a little bit of an insight um and you can carry on with your projects and that um so don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit that notification bell um and oh thanks for watching did i say that i don't know um we'll see you on the next video ta -da.